Gary saw this. Oh, no, the garage! <laughs> <laughs> Not the garage! <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> these are the most cocky shoes ever. Oh, no, it's alright, bro. I'll, I'll use these. Uh, bro, I play volleyball in these. These are the best, bro. That is so good, bro. <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> Two power snatches, so basically you snatch one on the ground, snatch and then you hold onto it, tap, go for another one. I'll make a rule, we'll say if you uh, if you catch your bent arms and you press out, okay. you can't go up and wait. Yeah, you gotta okay. repeat that weight until you can catch your straight elbow. Yeah, cool, cool. And you'll go. No, calm down, buddy. What is up, you sexy beasts? We're at the dog park today, outside. It's a lovely day on the Gold Coast, and uh, I have trained three days in a row, very hard training, and so I think I deserve a little, little custard-filled donut, you know? Oh, that is lovely, Chip. Oh wow. No, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you're here for the first time, my name is Vakey and uh, I appreciate you being here. If you like the content, it would really help if you just give it a like, subscribe and uh, join the Sexy Beast tribe. Hey, um, I was scrolling through all my YouTube videos over the last kind of 12 months and I realized it's almost been a year, I think it's been 11 months since I made the video Thank You Greg Lasman and uh, that video currently sits at 59,000 views I think it's probably my most viewed video ever and it got me thinking, you know, we've got a new CEO now Eric Rosa, it's been, I think it's been about 10 months since uh, CrossFit sold to Eric and uh, it got me thinking, has CrossFit changed? with Greg Lasman exiting and uh, Eric Rosa coming on board has crossed for change for the better for the worst what's been different over the last year and um, I'm purely just speaking here off the top of my head I haven't really done a whole lot of research or looked into what CrossFit has done specifically in all the different areas. Obviously there's the, um, the affiliation, you know, all the gyms around the world, there's the CrossFit Games and all the athletes, uh, there's the CrossFit Health stuff and so I'm just purely speaking here out of my own experience kind of what I've noticed over the last 12 months. So let's start with the affiliates. I'm not an affiliate owner anymore and I'd love to hear from you if you are. Um, has CrossFit done anything different or anything better when it comes to uh, supporting the affiliates? Now two things I've noticed. Uh, number one, they have appointed like a regional representative 
if you will. Uh, here in Australia, it's Ed Morrison. So Ed's looking after New Zealand and Australia and uh, kind of keeping the, the affiliate community, the affiliate owner community up to date with what's happening. I believe there's like a Facebook group they're all a part of. And then I know that at Torium Pro in two weeks time, they're having a bit of an affiliate owner gathering. Um, and I think Eric's going to be speaking there remotely, obviously, uh, via the interwebs. So that's something I noticed came into play pretty early on. And then the weekly newsletters, or even daily, I'm not sure. I get a lot of emails these days from CrossFit. I feel like there's a lot more communication. Um, I can't say that I read all the emails, but uh, I scrolled through one before, and it looks like there's some really good stuff in there. So um, as far as supporting the affiliates go, those are a couple of things I've noticed that they've done uh, that wasn't in place prior to Eric coming on board. So if you're an affiliate owner or you're aware of some things that have changed in this space, I would love to hear from you. Then there's the CrossFit Games and the athletes. What has changed? What is different? Um, obviously the season has completely changed and uh, I believe it's for the better. Sure, it's not perfect yet, um, but the way I like to think about it is CrossFit's like a big ship, like a big boat on the ocean and it's making a turn for the better but it's taking a while you know things are taking a while to change and you know we're not even one year in so I do think we have to uh, have a bit of grace and give the team at CrossFit a bit of time to kind of show us what they have up their sleeves. I think it's unreasonable to expect them to roll out everything perfect within one year of, uh, of new ownership so uh, I do feel like we are heading in the right direction and the ship is turning but what I've noticed from a media standpoint is CrossFit is now making a real effort to cover not only the top games athletes, but also the masters, the teens, the teams. For myself, this is the first year they've sent me to go and film a team and also a masters athlete. So it is very obvious that CrossFit is investing money back into media, which they weren't doing. Previously, they were just cutting as much media as they possibly could. They got rid of the majority of the media team at CrossFit HQ. So it seems like the approach now is to partner with creators like myself, third party creators, contractors, who can uh, kind of do the work um, in the different regions and areas, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, instead of flying someone over from the States, why not just use me, you know? So um, I definitely know that they're putting more money into media, which is a great step forward for the athletes, giving the athletes exposure, encourage the community to get to know some of the masters athletes, the teen athletes and the teams. And then even things like the show on Instagram that Sean Woodland's running, I think it's called The Triplet, uh, a really cool little um, three to five minute show that kind of highlights some other people in the community. So I do feel like the media is heading in the right direction for sure. And then just a couple of weeks ago, I got contacted by CrossFit to go and film uh, a piece for CrossFit Health. There was a, um, a local seminar that was running for the community based around health, so nutrition, sleep, stress, and movement. And they got me to go and cover that, so there's some content there to push out to the broader community uh, when it comes to CrossFit Health. Now, I'm certainly not uh, very in tune with what's happening with the CrossFit Health side of things and where that's heading. Obviously, that was a big passion of Greg's. So, again, if you are someone who is aware of what's happening in that space, let me know. Is it growing? Um, is there things happening in that space? I don't know. But just the fact that they're sending me to a, uh, a seminar that's, that's been run by a local gym to cover it, again, it's something that will highlight the local box that's taking the initiative, but also there was some great doctors that spoke and uh, the content was spot on. So um, those are a few things that I've noticed that have kind of improved. Obviously this channel is very much focused around the CrossFit Games and the top athletes. And I think there is a lot of improvement still to be had when it comes to the CrossFit Games season. I think the programming this year with the quarterfinals is a great telltale that things aren't quite where they need to be. Um, actually, Armin Hammer made a great video about this. You know, the workouts being so similar across the, um, you know, the elite level athletes and then the teams and all the other individual uh, divisions all being very similar workouts and no real effort being put in to, um, to make these other divisions unique. So again, whether that is something that CrossFit is thinking about but maybe just hasn't had the time to actually implement, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. So again, I think keeping that analogy of the big ship slowly turning around is helpful and allows us to kind of extend a bit of grace to CrossFit. As someone who's fairly involved in the CrossFit space, I've got a pretty good connection with some affiliate owners, some athletes, the media crew, I feel like across the broad, across the broad, across the board, the vibe is pretty positive, and that the future looks bright. That's the general kind of feeling I get. Um, let me know what you think. Do you feel like there's been major improvements? Do you think it's been too slow? And what else would you like to see happen? So that's it, guys. Just wanted to reflect on the last kind of 12 months since Greg sold the company and open the discussion on the changes that have taken place. So please get involved in the 
comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I do think that we are heading in the right direction. The boat, the ship is turning around and it's heading the right way. So I'm excited. Now, I want to leave you with a little clip from Justin Medeiros' Instagram account. It's him doing some weighted dips, I think 40 kgs. Look at the guy's back. It honestly looks like there's something that's alive, like an alien that lives on his back. Just have a look at this. Justin buddy, looking just yoked, jacked. Anyway guys, you stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you soon, bye.